we have no hand in Onandes Kano's arrest, extradition, Kenya government tells courts. Hello, my wonderful people. Don't forget that the UN has asked both Kenya government and Nigerian government to explain what happened, what, 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 what transpired between Onandi Kanu being in Kenya and Onandi Kanu getting to Nigeria. And they are supposed to give a reply and a report on that extensively on how Kanu got to Nigeria. Meanwhile, Kanu's family, his brother, um, who is based, who is not based in Nigeria, has sued Kenya government. And the case, the, the case hearing trial has begun in Ennis. And Kenya government in court today said, well, they have no hand in Onandis Kanu's extradition to Nigeria. But it was from your country. That don't, because there is, I mean, like the brother said, they've gone to all the police station. They've carried out a great analysis and they have looked at the whole thing. And they found nowhere Onandis Kanu was thoroughly or properly arrested and, you know, proper you know, extradition processes began and it was extradited the way he should be. Mm -hmm. So what exactly has happened? Nobody knows. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. We have no hand in Onandis Kano's arrest, extradition, Kenya government tells courts. The Kenya government has said once again, distance itself from Mazel Nandi Kano, the indigenous people of Biafra's leader, IPOB. They've distanced themselves. In response to the lawsuit filed by Kano's brother, Kingsley Kano, on behalf of IPOB leader, Kenya government affirmed to the court that Kano did not face extradition proceedings in Kenya. So if he did not face extradition proceedings, how did he get to Nigeria? The court hearing in Kenya took place on November the 2nd, according to a news release by released from Kanu's brother, made accessible to Vanguard on Thursday by Kanu's special counsel, Aloy Ejemofo. According to the announcement, there is no record in the Kenya's police station in indicating or implying any proper arrest or held in the nation's database that Onandi Kanu was arrested and extradited. On November the 2nd, 2021, the government of Kenya filed for defense to the complaint I have previously brought to Kenya on the behalf of my brother, Mazi Onandi Kano. It says, in part, following my brother's dramatic rendition arrest in June and brought to Nigeria, the Kenya government issued a series of public comments denying any involvement in the hilarious deed. In the aftermath defense, Kenya has not mentioned his denier. But it has also confirmed that my brother was denied benefit of Kenya's due process of extradition and a valid arrest warrant. In practical, the Kenya government response presented to court reads in part, there is no extradition proceeding to justify the government of Kenya is accountable for the subject of extradition. There is no OP record for any of the police station inside the country to suggest the subject issue was legitimately arrested and detained for the purpose of being extradited and the proceedings followed. The statement continued. It is important to note that the aftermath admission that a formal verification of our long-term position of Mazi Unandi Kano stands and remain that how Unandi Kano was transferred from Kenya to Nigeria was illegal. Was, le was illegal not illegal. As the Nigerian government has stated, it clearly shows that there is deceit going on. So Kenya government said, according to Nigerian government, Nigerian government said, well, that uh, the, the process of Nandi Kanu transfer from Nigeria, from Kenya to Nigeria was legal. Now, Kenya government said there was no extradition proceedings. So who is lying? Kenya government said there was nothing particularly done to show the correct things, that things were done correctly with regards to Nandi Kanu's case. So who exactly is lying? This is the matter. This is where it all unfolds. And this is where the truth must come out. Who is lying? So according to Kenya's government rec record, there is nothing indicating whatsoever that Nandi Kanu process followed due process. And there is implications to that, meaning that how Nandi Kanu got to Nigeria, if it was against his will, and there is no extradition process, 
he was adopted. And if he's adopted, an adopted person must be treated, must be rescued, must be rescued from the adopters. And the adopters now, in this case, is Nigerian government. So what exactly is happening and how do we resolve all this issue? Nigerian government has got a lot to answer because even the UN is now interested in Kano's case with his brother who has been following this matter closely since his brother has been arrested. Kingsley has been on the case and has not left on the Kano's matter alone. This is his brother and we know what Nigerian government can do and undo. And so he has been on the case and has told the UN and the UN particularly is, you know, has sent a message asking Nigerian government and Kenyan government. Kenyan government now is distancing themselves saying we have no idea how Nandi Kano got to Nigeria. We have no idea. There was nothing that showed he was arrested. There was nothing that showed that, you know, he, this and that and that happened. So how he got to Nigeria, a big, a big question where everybody, everybody has to answer. How did he get to Nigeria? So that's where we are at the moment. We were here because uh, at the end of the day, we, the truth will come out at some point. We will know exactly who is lying. Was he stolen? <laughs> was Nandi Kano stolen or kidnapped? Because kidnapping, you know, is going on in Nigeria. So it may be part and parcel of what the government of the people has taught the people. So we don't know exactly. Maybe it's what they do. You see, it could be part and parcel of their new, uh, new regime, new terrain. This is what they operate on. This is how they rule. We don't know. So we'll get to know, we'll get to understand it very closely and clearly as the matter unfolds. By the way, Kenya government has said, well, we have nothing to do with Tuna Kano uh, issue or all that is going on. We don't understand what Nigerian government is saying and how we got to Nigeria from Kenya. We don't know. So could it be that they sent some people, was it tricked to Kenya? And we have people waiting for in Kenya, uh, waiting for, we are Nigerians waiting for him in Kenya to pick him up. We don't know. So all that will be revealed because um, we will get to know the truth. No matter how long they try to hide it, the person lying will come out. The Attorney General of the Federation has a lot of questions to answer. Funny enough, in Nigeria, people can put case on other people. That's the sad part. Yeah, they can push it on somebody or somebody else will take the fall because they don't want to be seen as the devil. So it is what it is. Leave us a comment. We really love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.